This is the 16th video in this series and in the last video we finished up setting some keyframes and beginning an animation for a walk cycle in which we set up some movement to our legs and defined a fair enough walk cycle for the legs. And in this video we're going to move that movement up the body and start animating our way up towards the head. Before I get started on that though I'm going to redivide my work area. So I'm going to join these two areas and change it over to the action editor. In the action editor, if I'm to select all of the items present in my action editor, which are representing all of the keyframes that we've set, this is a graphic representation of those keyframes, we can go into the key menu, into extend mode, and change the extend mode type to cyclic. And that way, when I frame through my animation using the arrow keys, the animation no longer ends at frame 41, and it becomes a cyclic motion where the 41 frames just keep repeating, and we create a continuous walk cycle by doing so. So with that done, let's have a look at the next bone in the line to animate. And I believe the next bone which should be moved is the hip bones. So I'm going to look at the hip bones from a top view. With the hip bone I selected is on the side of the body with the leg rotated forward. So I'm going to rotate the hip bone forward. I'm going to use the control key and do it by five degrees. And then I'll select the other hip bone. Go to a top view again and rotate it backwards and again by five degrees and then select the two hip bones, lock in the keyframe. The keyframe will be a rotation because that's what I've done is rotated the bones and then I'll copy the current pose. Now if I use the up arrow key to key forward twice to frame 21, I can then paste that pose flipped because the legs are flipped and in frame 21, so I want to paste the flipped version of the rotated hips at frame 21. So I'll lock that key in, press the I key, and add a rotation key for the hip bones. And adding a rotation key is not going to change any of the other rotation keys. All it's doing is adding new keys for the hip bones, because that's all that's selected. And even if the other bones were selected, I would have to rotate them select them and rotate them to change the existing keys. So this action will not affect any of the other keys. And now the next step is to key forward to frame 41 and paste the original pose from frame 1. So I'll paste that pose, the hips twist back to the original position and I set a rotation key at frame 41 for the hip bones. Now, because I've added new bones to this list, these two new bones, hip left and right, do not have the option for cyclic um, action applied to them. So they won't animate beyond frame 41 until I go into the action editor, select all, I go into the extend mode and change it to cyclic again. And now the cyclic option is added to the left and right hip. And we can have a look at that motion. So I'll key back to frame one. And then use the right arrow key to view the animation. And now I'm getting a little bit of a hip motion. It's not a great deal of motion, but it lends credibility to the motion in the legs. And that's really what it's about is the little things adding up to it to a more realistic animation. Next off, I think that animating the pelvis bone would be in order, and the pelvis bone is going to be a balance bone. Right here in frame one, we're going to want the pelvis to rotate forward. But before I set a rotation forward on the pelvis, I'm first going to want to set a location for it to be in this unrotated position. And I think that will prove helpful. So I'm going to frame up to frame 11, and frame 11 is halfway through a stride, where I think that I could safely determine this is a 
balanced view of of the model and the proper place to have this default rotation set to the pelvis bone. So I'm going to set a rotation key at frame 11. And then I'll go back to frame 1 and rotate the pelvis. So I'll rotate it and this time I'm going to use text because snapping is is great and all using the control key but it's limited to degrees of 5 and I would like to rotate this by less than 5 degrees and have a subtle motion. I'm going to try minus 2, and that's a small motion, but it's a motion, and it will show. So I'll set a rotation key for that, and I'll copy that pose, copy current pose. Now as I frame forward, the back of the model will come back up until frame 11, and then all animation is going to stop on the pelvis until I go to frame 21 and paste the current pose. So I'll paste the pose from frame 1, and there won't be any flip poses here, because at frame 21, it doesn't matter if the weight's going on to left or right leg, it's coming forward either way. So we're going to be pasting the forward motion onto frame 21. I'll set that as a rotation key at frame 21, and then use the down arrow key to go to frame 11. At frame 11, I have the default upright pose, so I can copy that pose. And I'll use the up arrow key to go to 21, 31. And at 31, the model should be in upright pose. And presently, it has the rotation retained from frame 21, where it's rotated forward slightly. So I'll paste the pose from frame 11 onto frame 31. And the model comes backwards the 2 degree angle that we set on it, and it doesn't really show much unless you actually see it happening. But I'll set a rotation key at 31 for that, and then use the down arrow to go to 21 where the pelvis is rotated forwards the 2 degrees, and copy that pose. I'll copy that pose, use the up arrow key to go to 31, 41, and at 41, the weight is back forward on the foot and the pelvis should be rotated forward. So I'll paste that forward pose onto frame 41. Set in a rotation key for it. And come over to the action editor. And in the action editor we can see the different keys. You can see I've got frame 1, frame 11, frame 21, frame 31, frame 41. So I never missed any of the keys and everything should be in order here. I'll again use the A key to select all. They'll turn white. Go into key, extend mode, cyclic. And that will add the cyclic action to the pelvis. And when I key through the animation with my keyboard, that motion will now extend beyond frame 41 and become a cyclic motion. For now we're getting a movement in the pelvis and the hips. Um, I'm probably out of time for this video. In the next video, we'll keep working our way up all the way to the head, and then look at what we can do with the arms. So that'll be in the future videos, and until then, happy modeling.